there is a possibility that while doing operations with floating point numbers you might have a very small number or a very large number as a result which cannot be represented by the representable range of normal numbers. There is a possibility that the exponent that is required could be less than minus 126 or greater than 127. So if the number is very small, we say that an underflow has occurred and if the number is very large, we say that an overflow has occurred and these numbers are not representable by the normal range of numbers. There are some special values which are used to represent certain numbers. Now, these 0 and 255, these, these n values, they are in the excess minus 127 representation. Okay. So, if the exponent is 0 and the mantissa is m, the value that is represented is 0. If the exponent is 255, so if you want to represent a very, very large number which is beyond the range of the IEEE 754 single precision format, if the number is very large, if you want to represent infinity, this is how you will do it. You will set the excess 127 exponent to 255 and the mantissa will be made 0. To represent very small numbers, smaller than the smallest numbers which are called d normal numbers this is the representation that is used the exponent is made zero and the mantissa is a non-zero value this is how d normal numbers are represented or interpreted instead of 1.1 now this is a zero over here so 0 0.m into 2 to the power of minus 126 if your operation was an invalid operation such as 0 divided by 0 or the square root of minus 1, the system generates a not a number for you which is an invalid number and it is shown by making the exponent 255 whereas the mantissa is still not 0.